I'm John Llewellyn, and today we're going to talk about why an engine would vibrate after a timing belt replacement. Some of the things that could happen to make the engine vibrate is that your timing marks on your cams could be out of alignment. So somewhere during the installation process, the engine probably got spun without the timing belt being put back on. And once it was put back on and buttoned up, you fire the engine and the engine vibrates. Now, the other thing that could cause your engine to vibrate after a timing belt replacement would be your harmonic balancer, which nowadays on the newer cars is uh, one and the same. Your balancer and pulley are the same unit. Now, if you improperly install the balancer, you could damage it. And that damage could make the harmonics of the engine, make the engine vibrate. Now the purpose of that balancer is to keep all of the engine harmonics running smoothly. You do not want to damage that, that balancer. If you do, it would make the crankshaft shake and therefore your engine would shake. So if that balancer is damaged, you need to replace that balance. Do not, do not use a hammer to beat it onto the crankshaft snout. You can damage the balancer as well as the crankshaft and the, the journals and the, uh, the uh, races inside of the engine. That's one thing you do not want to do because if you beat that on, other problems can, can surface, which will make your engine run even worse. And one of the things you want to make sure that when you're installing the harmonic balancer is use the correct installation tool. The one thing you don't want to use is the crankshaft bolt that holds the uh, balancer on. Do not use that bolt to draw the balancer onto the crankshaft snout because you'll end up breaking the bolt inside of the crankshaft and you might as well at that point look at spending about a lot of money to get that out if not replacing your engine at that point so basically you want to use that tool the installation tool to properly seat the balancer on the crankshaft and not break the bolt inside the block and um, so that way you will have a smooth installation, no damage to the balancer, no damage to the pulley, and we're good to go. During the installation process of the timing belt, the plugs may have had to been removed to check for top dead center. Now, during the installation process, the plug wires could have been simply swapped or uh, not properly seated. So make sure your plug wires are where they're supposed to be, and then refire the engine to make sure that everything is working properly. Now, those are some of the things that could cause your engine to vibrate after a timing belt replacement. So now it's your turn to get out there, get your manual, get your hands dirty. I'm John Flewellen, and we'll see you next time.